what we'll do with Tony is we're going to have him take his left hand and monitor the positioning of his rib cage. So he's going to keep it down. What I like is we can actually kind of directly monitor where his upward rotation is. He should have that 55 degrees of scapular upward rotation. So conventional logic would say we need to pack the shoulder with the lat. If Tony cranks down with the lat, he's going to go into more downward rotation and more depression and the ball is going to sit too high relative to the socket. So for him, really he needed some upper traps, some lower traps, some serratus anterior to get that upward rotation. He needed a little bit of posterior tilt, but what's even more interesting, like we talked about, he actually needed a little bit of upper trap to get to neutral before he went up overhead. So you could actually argue that he has the exact opposite of a lat dominant packing strategy. He has a little bit more upper trap to get him where he needs to be. And from there, we'll just go and have him do a little bit of a walk. So when we see this, we're getting a little bit of reflexive rotator cuff activation. Um, and all we're doing is we're teaching him to be stable in that position. Obviously, we want to avoid any kind of lateral flexion.